Hi everybody and welcome to the Quick Decals version 2.0 quick overview video. So this is just another tool in the Procore tool set, one that's built to especially save you a lot of time, trouble, and sanity. Uh, and while it's doing that, make your level look a lot more interesting, bring it to life, add a story, all sorts of unique things you can do with decals for very little performance cost. So let's take a quick look at how this works. First of all, under Tools, Quick Decals, and then the Decals window. You can open this up and have a list of the decals that you've currently set up. And we'll go into a bit more on how this works. First, just a quick look at how we can use it. So, for example here, I have a series of blood splats. I can hold shift and select multiple. And very quickly in my level, I can just drop in some blood splats, if need be. Oops, and move them around. Decals can be moved, rotated, etc., however you like. And these will randomize in based on some values down here that we can go over later as well. Maybe I want to add in some signs or anything like this. Maybe also numbers, perhaps some nasty grunge or something like that. I can easily add detail, make things really start to pop out and have uh, a real life to them. Let's look over to this side. Uh, graffiti is a great use for decals, of course. More grunge, always looks good, always more. <laughs> um, lots of nice things you can add with this. Let's see, also we have the uh, just general trash and such that so you can add. Give your, uh, your scene a bit of a nice lived-in feel as if, oops, things are really going on in this level or whatever it is, or scene that you're building. A lot of unique stuff you can do with this to quickly turn your level from just something simple to something very unique and something that really has life to it. We also have some nice bullet holes, lots of good things like that, extra damage, and so forth. So as you can see, very quickly we are able to turn a fairly simple looking scene into some pretty unique and interesting artwork. Very simple, very quick, and we've made quick decals extremely simple to use, uh, especially compared to older versions. So let's take a look at exactly how this works. First of all, Quick Decals is now completely drag and drop compatible. We're really trying to stick with uh, the, you know, what Unity does best, making things simple, easy, and fun to use. So if I have any decals, for example, maybe I have these two here, I want to add to my decal collection, I can simply drag and drop those right into either any one of these groups that I've set up by dropping them in, or onto the plus sign to create a brand new group. I can also select any one and move it around between groups very, very simply or out to a new one again. It's all just intuitive, easy, and very quick and simple to pick up. If you want to remove a decal, just click on it and hit delete. You can select multiple decals if you'd like and hit delete to remove both of those at once. And the same for moving them around, just like so. These groups here are purely for organization. They don't have any real function, uh, just so that you can keep track of where things are. Of course, you can use the search box. In this case, if I had a lot of decals, I want to search up all the blood splats. There we go. One of the best parts about this new system is that every decal, as you can see down here, has its own settings, and that's going to be for the rotation and scale randomization. So when you click on a decal or multiple, you'll notice that you can set these uh, items down here. Number one, we have rotation, which you can choose either random or fixed. Random means that every time you place this decal, it's going to choose a random value for the rotation between the min value and the max value. Or for example, something like this sign here, I have it set to fixed and will always use the default rotation. So in this case, zero rotation and then scale is exactly the same. If it's on fixed, it will use the default scale. But as with these blood splats here, if it's using random, it will use a random scale between the two values you have set here every time you place it. Placing randomized decals, as you saw earlier, is also extremely simple. Simply hold shift to select multiple items. And then every time you click, we'll go on top here for a clean spot. It simply places a random decal from your selection 
and then using those randomized settings so you can really do just about anything and of course you can select between different items it does not matter what you choose here it will randomize it in there for you something that you might be noticing as well up here in the hierarchy all of these are automatically being placed under the decal parent object so this just keeps your scene nice and tidy you can always toggle that closed if you need to and then these aren't filling up your entire scene with decals just in case it wasn't clear as well anytime you have multiple items selected you can edit them all at once if you like to once you've placed a decal you can edit it just like any other unity object move it around scale it or rotate it. Nothing special about it there. It will be affected by ProGrids if you happen to be using that. For example, this works well if you have something like the grunge. So I'll place that maybe over here on this one. And I want it to snap exactly right onto the panel there. I can do that nice and simply with ProGrids turned on. Possibly the best part of Quick Decals 2.0 is the new atlasing system. So this finally allows you to use atlas textures, but even better than that, ProGrids, or Quick Decals that is, will automatically take care of all the atlasing for you. Very simply, no need to do any extra work. So just exactly the same as the groups work, you can drag and drop these in case you really need to make sure several items are in different areas or you need different decals, uh, texture sheets in case they're getting too large, you can move them around. And then as soon as you have them set, click on pack decals and they will pack down into single texture sheets per each so that you have one single draw call per each texture sheet. And this will add in or uh, save you actually, of course, a lot of draw calls and just make performance much, much better. You can name these texture sheets texture sheets if you like just to make sure that they are a little easier for you to find and set the padding on them based on how your decals are set up. For example here I'll take the blood splats, drop these all into one atlas group and then with that selected let's call this decals underscore blood splats set the padding to zero and click on pack decals. Once it's packed, it will show as Atlas. The, other, the others here show as they still have the red pack decals. So you know that they aren't fully packed yet. This one is green and ready to go. So if you look under your Procore folder and then down to quick decals, and the decal sheets, we now have decals underscore blood splats and the texture sheet. Let's make this larger so we can see it a bit better. All packed together like that, much easier or much easier on performance and best to use that way, of course. And that's really it for quick decals. Something like the ProGrids and other tools, very simple um, on the surface, but extremely useful and can really, especially with this, bring your level right to life very simply and save you a lot of time and trouble, plus just plain make it look better. So we're very excited to hear what everyone thinks of this brand new update to Quick Decals. Uh, we know the previous version was a bit lacking and this is just a completely uh, new take on all that and really should be great to use. I've been using it quite a bit myself for some level building and having a great time with it. Definitely looking forward to everyone's feedback and input on that. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the future updates. One of which, if you are looking forward to this and wondering, we will definitely be adding in full projection support for the decals so that you can use these on curved, bumpy, etc. surfaces, not just straight up flat surfaces as currently in quick decals. So. Again, thanks for watching and see you then.